I would assume the front row motorsports drivers would continue to be Michael McDowell and Todd Gilliland. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. man. What the f***, man? Get your ass on, man. Yeah. You get your guy now. Well, that aged like milk, didn't it? Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, let me know your thoughts on this video. What do you think of the move for Michael McDowell leaving Front Row Motorsports for Spire Motorsports? Plus, let me know any improvements I can make on the channel. So literally not even 24 hours ago, I dropped a video on my channel talking about the potential merger between Front Row Motorsports and Stuart Haas Racing. One of the things I mentioned was I was very confident that Todd Gilliland and Michael McDowell would be part of this race team. So I was extremely shocked this morning when I saw this. Michael McDowell put out a little bit of a statement this morning saying that he was not going to return to Front Row Motorsports, he appreciates his time there, and he appreciates everything that happens there, but he's moving on to his next team. And just after that statement was put out, you had Bob Pockris immediately chiming in on Twitter, saying that most likely he will land at Spire Motorsports. A lot of people were replying and commenting on this, like, wow, Spire Motorsports, oh, wow. And then around an hour and a half, two hours after that, came the formal announcement Silly season is kicking off early, isn't it? As Spire Motorsports, Michael McDowell announced that Michael McDowell will drive the number 71 car for Spire Motorsports in 2025, signing a multi-year deal. As most NASCAR contracts, we don't know how many years this deal is worth, but it's it's a crazy move. It's a shocking move. Michael McDowell has been at Front Row Motorsports for the dark days, and he's really built this team up over the last couple of years. He's a huge part of why they've improved so much over the last couple of years. Michael McDowell has been with the team since 2018. Michael McDowell is a proven winner and contender in our sport. He has won the Daytona 500. He won the Indy Road Course last year, and we've seen time to time Michael McDowell have these fantastic runs. It's not necessarily as consistent as I think he would like. And that possibly could be the reason for the move. See you, chump. It's been no secret that Ford has struggled this season. Front Row has gotten upgraded to a Tier 1 team. And I see a lot of people talking about this, that Front Row Motorsports got upgraded to a Tier 1 team. And Spire Motorsports is not a Tier 1 team for Chevy. But I would consider Aspire Motorsports to potentially be the most interesting team in the Cup Series right now because we're not sure exactly what the future entails for this race team. We all know that Spire Motorsports has high aspirations, now owning three charters, and it looks like they're building for the future. I think this is a beyond amazing move for Spire Motorsports because like I mentioned, Michael McDowell improved front row motorsports year after year obviously it wasn't only michael mcdowell that made this happen but he was a big part of it michael mcdowell is a very smart race car driver he knows what he needs in the car and he knows how to build chemistry he's a good guy and he's going to help build this organization into something bigger and help with these big aspirations that Spire Motorsports has. I just find it really ironic that all the talk last year was, well, is Zane Smith going to drive for front row? Is he going to replace Michael McDowell? Is he going to replace Todd Gilliland in the 34, the 38? And Zane Smith ended up going to Spire Motorsports and ended up not replacing Michael McDowell. And now in 2025, Michael McDowell is the one that's going to replace Zane Smith in the 71. And it sounds like to me that Spire Motorsports actually already has their 2025 lineup completely set with Carson Hosevar, Corey LaJoy, and now Michael McDowell. Some of you may be asking, where does this leave 
Zane Smith? Honestly, I'm not sure. I think it's most likely that he ends up at Trackhouse Racing. He does have a contract with Trackhouse. I could also see it as a possibility of him racing for Colleague next season with Trackhouse having that relationship with Colleague. Because let's not sugarcoat it. I'm not going to say that Spire has looked incredibly strong or something, but Hosevar has put in some pretty good runs. LaJoy has been extremely inconsistent, but he's had some good runs in there. And then with Zane Smith, other than getting really lucky, in my opinion, with strategy a couple weeks ago, hasn't put in any good runs. He hasn't even had a top 30, top 25 car in any race in this season, in my opinion. On a consistent basis, Zane Smith is the worst performing Spire Motorsports car. I know he is a rookie, but also, but Carson Hosvar is also a rookie. And he's way outperforming Zane Smith in the number 71. And this is the car that's supposed to have the track house help. So if anybody's going to be driving strong and driving fast for Spire Motorsports, it should be Zane Smith. And that is not the case. Now my final thoughts on the subject of Michael McDowell making the move to Spire Motorsports. I think it's a great move for both McDowell and Spire Motorsports. I think a lot of people online are definitely commending Spire Motorsports on the move, on them going out and getting Michael McDowell. But at the same time, a lot of those same people are saying, why did Michael McDowell leave Front Row Motorsports for Spire Motorsports when they're not even a Tier 1 OEM team? Like I mentioned, I think Spire could potentially be the most interesting team in the Cup Series because they have such high aspirations. They don't have any particular ties to anything. At the same time, they're kind of attached to a bunch of different things. You have the Andretti connection. You have the Dale Earnhardt Jr. connection. You even have the Hendrick Motorsports Trackhouse connection. And not to even mention all the rumors about a potential new manufacturer coming into the sport. Who knows? what Spire Motorsport got going on behind the scenes. As you can tell, overall, I'm pretty excited about this move. I think it's a great move for Spire and Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell is just going to help this team grow to what it wants to be. No offense to LaJoy, but LaJoy is not going to be the guy that does that. It has to be McDowell. McDowell is a really smart race car driver. Out of all the drivers in the Cup Series, he probably has one of the highest racing IQs and one thing that McDowell does really well in Les Rad Super Speedway, he knows how to take care of the car. So congratulations to Michael McDowell and Spire Motorsports on getting this deal done. It's a huge loss for Front Row Motorsports and for Ford. One of the big questions is now, who replaces Michael McDowell? And if Stuart Haas would end up merging with Front Row Motorsports like I was mentioning in my video yesterday... They might already have a replacement in one of the Stuart Haas racing drivers. Bob Jenkins and all the people over at Front Row Motorsports have a high passion for the sport, and I bet they'll figure it out soon enough. And then with Zane Smith, I expect him to have a full-time Cup Series ride next year, whether that is with Trackhouse or Colleague Racing, because he has proven that he is a talent, and I don't think they're just going to give him one year and then spit him out. Over the next couple of weeks, over the next couple of months, we'll be seeing a lot more of Silly Season news. So tune in for that. I would really greatly appreciate it. Just how I appreciate you tuning into this video. We're going to have more information on this. Michael McDowell, what sponsors could come with him. It's a very interesting situation. And I am beyond shocked. But thanks for watching. That'll do it for this video. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace. <clears throat> My voice <clears throat>